Brett. Adam. I'm glowing. Yes. <laughs> glowing with excitement. Glowing with excitement. Shout out to Jaden and Maddie Marcus. Gave us the idea for this one, what is called the Flying Dutchman, AKA the In-N-Out Onion Wrapped Burger. Or is it the Onion Wrapped In-N-Out Burger, AKA the Flying Dutchman? Mmm, I don't know. Either way, we're making it today. Yes, you wanna see us knock out this copycat cook? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's I one know. of them. That's the That's other the one. one. I'm the other one. So we are scooched in real quick because the sun is coming in. We're about an hour to sunset. So we've got to try to hurry and get this cook in. Yep. But let's get over to the griddle. While yep. we're switching places, Cannon, take the camera. Get Brett, talk about the groceries. What's going into this uh, one? Well, so we, what we've done is we've got these uh, thickly cut onion patties or onion <laughs> buns, I guess. Yeah. And then we onion rounds, yeah, which are gonna be the, the buns. The buns, right. exactly. We've got 80-20 ground beef, uh, these little balls. We've got this homemade burger sauce, American cheese, and salt, and pepper. Wait. Yeah, we're glowing, right? We are glowingly happy. So let's, uh, we gotta come and get out of the direct sunlight, which we're gonna be cooking in the sunlight, so we'll get down to the griddle. But this one came about, we love In-N-Out. Uh, we've done an In-N-Out copycat. We've also done the tomato wrapped In-N-Out copycat. So yeah. now, this one is, I guess, viral all over the World Wide Web. So when we cut these onion slices, I'm going to be honest, we didn't get all teary-eyed like every influencer I saw that was cutting these. We cut them, no problem. Can I tell you it's not pictured? What? You haven't discussed? What? Mustard that we're gonna Mustard. put on the burger. Are we okay? Yeah. We decided dis discuss this. What are we gonna do? A lot of times when we after we smash the patties, which we're making smash burgers, before we flip them, we put some mustard on the other side and then lay that patty down into the mustard. Gives it a little bit extra flavor, a little extra texture. But we're gonna get the cheese. You're gonna see this whole process laid out for you. But this is our homemade sauce, which we've done before, Brett. It's what you do. It you do so, a scoop of mustard. So no, I do. Oh, what me, I do is, 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 is a a big a pile of mayonnaise. In this case, it was three heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise. And then basically I take ketchup and squeeze it over the mayonnaise until you can't see the mayonnaise <laughs> anymore. Uh, when that was done, I ended up putting a little more ketchup in the end because you do mm -hmm. it to taste. Mm -hmm. And then we've got uh, so dill a little relish. dill relish, dill pickle juice, and one key ingredient for us, a little bit of celery salt, and about a half a teaspoon. And that little goes a long way, it's but it is one of our favorite ingredients. It gives it that kick. Hi, I'm glowing again. <laughs> In just a minute, I'll be out again. Let's get, again. I'm Brett. Let's get, <laughs> <laughs> let's get, let's get the, the griddle. mustard real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Brett, show them the mustard. All right, one thing I wanted to show too, so we'll use a little bit of that. Normally we do two and a half, three ounce patties, uh, but these I try to make closer to two ounce. They're smaller patties, loosely packed, 80, 20 ground beef, and I've kept the onions kind of separated from them. But we're gonna start with this. Can yeah, I Brett? tell you my little problem? Yes. I don't see any salt and pepper on those patties. <laughs> no, you're gonna salt and pepper them right now. So we're gonna put oil down here and a little oh, bit guess, of butter, right? Yeah, uh, did we want the butter. Let's uh, go ahead and lay some butter. Yeah, we've got some butter. Let's go ahead and lay it. So also not pictured in the groceries, butter. <laughs> this has become such a thing. <laughs> this is our fourth cook today. We've used butter in all four. It has not been pictured one time in the groceries. Let's get to the cook. All right, we got some butter. Go ahead and move that around a little bit, dude. Okay. And then we go ahead and just lay these down. Yep. Okay, I'm going to put it this way. So that's the top. That's the bottom. I guess it doesn't yep. matter, right? Yep. And I'm put a little salt on them once you do that. Okay. Okay, so the hard thing is trying to keep these together and I, right yeah. off the bat, I'm struggling with that and I even knew that would be kind of a, a key theme that would be tough. So starting these the opposite way would have been better. We'll get a little salt and pepper on these bad boys. Mm -hmm. So a little salt. A little pep. And, and then salt and pep on these. And then we're gonna salt and pep our bergs. Our berg balls. Now we only salt and pepper the one side, so it's a little bit heavier, but this is because this is all we're gonna do. We're not gonna salt and pepper the other side. All right, now so this is gonna take a, a good little while here. We want yeah. to get nice caramel, uh, caramelization, caramelization on there. Okay, we're good. Looking good. In the neighborhood. All right, so I gotta be really careful in flipping these. They are ready to go. I'm on the back side of the grill. It's a little bit hotter. So we're gonna flip, okay. Hold on, let me make sure it all is holding together and cheese it. Cheese will help hold, cheese is the glue that keeps this family together. Okay, so that's obviously not as hot up there. Nice. And then finally, boom. Ooh, hold up, this one. Oh, it jumped out on me. Okay, there we go. Look at that, I'm a fixer. Okay, so the front of the griddle is clearly better. Let's so let's scooch them all back and let these cook. Yeah, this let them cook long. as they say. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and get those because these are still way too raw. We really wanna let those cook through. 
All right, so we forgot to grab parchment paper. We've already got these down. So a little trick we've learned is once these start to cook, if you turn them over and then smash them on this side, this should help it from sticking. Brett? Yep. It's time to lay it the smash it down. All right. Oh, we were only supposed to do one on half of those. Oh, well, extra cheese. All right, ready? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. <laughs> Don't know how or why it works, but it does. So Brett holds for about eight seconds. I like a good 10 second hold. There you go. Now it's not as and hot up here. A little bit. Yeah, it's not as hot, so we get more crustification up here. So okay. here's the question. Yeah. When we flip, are we cheesing the, the burgers too? Um, we need to. We are supposed to, but we only do one. So let me get this one first, since that's the messed up one a little bit. Okay. So now we come back here. Because these are almost done, this crust is going to be nuts. Ready? Look at that. <laughs> I want to shout out to our nephew, Ian. He is a manager at In-N-Out Burger in Utah, and he's actually the one that came up with the Wall Twins when we first started this channel. We didn't know what to call it. He was, I was at their house visiting, and he came up from the downstairs. He's like, I got the name for your channel, Wall Twins. And uh, our lives changed forever that day. Thanks, Ian. Shout out to you, brother. So, Brett, I'm going to scooch these because these are starting to overcook a little bit. Okay. Uh, but they're not caramelizing enough yet. So Okay, got you. These got are you. ready, though, so here's what we got to do. Woo, woo, hot. So typically we would do a burger and cheese. Should we put one more cheese between them? That's how we roll, buddy. That's how we roll. If they're too cheesy, oh well. And I would say I have had burgers be too cheesy before, so I do get it. If this is too much cheese, we'll call it out and we'll say. All right, we'll kill that side of the griddle. We'll let these finish cooking and then we'll get ready to pull them and eat them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and flip these over. Go ahead. There we that's go. Nice oh, that's soft there. Look okay. That Maya yeah. <laughs> Get that one. Flip that on there. All right, man. I think we're good to go. My concern. Now, I am happy this is soft, but I do worry that it still might be a little raw. And I'll give I, my honest assessment if I feel like it's a little raw. Maybe we would have cooked it a little bit different. I, but otherwise, I, I'm happy with this. Let's, this, let's pull them and wrap this them. This is man. working a lot better than I, I feared that it wouldn't. So I'm look at the cheese falling out of there. It's Any excuses to not be back here because it's still these are hot. hot. The onions are scalding hot. Well, are they? But uh, here it yeah, is. In there all it is. In all, all its glory. And it is. It. She's still hot, right? She's warm. She's warm. She's, she's warm. warm. Exactly. Uh, Ooh, she's warm. But you know what? Oh, I look think at that. We got to go for it. It is falling apart. That, we yeah. heard that these are a mess. Now, yeah. I told Brett. I said, "Oh, we forgot to put our sauce on." He's like, "No, don't worry. A lot of the influencers that we watch do this." Take it and dip it. So we will do that. In fact, that's going to be part of it. When we cheers, we'll put it on. Okay, so we, we want put to put it on now. Let's go. It's like they say, it can look amazing. This look, dude. This really looks amazing. It I mean, does this? I mean, this the way that is ooey's oozing and goozing. <laughs> like we say, and gooey. Like we say, it can smell amazing. This does smell. Oh, it's one of the best really, burger smells ever. Can really I get a does. smell? Yeah. Smell? Yeah, you can. Oh my gosh! But if this doesn't taste amazing, this is all, all for not. Get my doll up. He created a little pocket in there <laughs> for it. <laughs> it cheers <laughs> only to, to that, that, my brother. brother. Aha, that's hot. Mm. Oh, she's warm. Is it too oh hot? Oh my God. Is it too hot? Should I go for it? Mmm. Mmm. <gasps> that burger. No way. Mmm. Mmm. Because here's the deal. Right. My onions are still good. And part of it, so you got some caramelization mm -hmm. and some crunch. My fear was my reaction was going to be way too oniony. Not, Not at all. The case at all. I'm you, putting a little more dollop on here. You get a little buttery, butteriness mm -hmm. that you, that's from the, that we put down for the for the onion. It is not overpowering. Mm. The crunch that's is hot. so satisfying. Mm. The cheese, mm. oh my word. Not over cheesed at all. Oh, and I say this whenever we make smash burgers, perfect burgers, perfect burger. Mood changer right there.
and we were already in a good mood, by the way. I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm confused. The, I, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Why do I like that Because much? I wanted to, like, it's viral, we'll do it. We like onion, we don't love onion. Two years ago, us would punch us in the face for even thinking about trying this burger. Yeah, we hated onions, ah, three years ago. Three years, okay, three years ago. This is stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Is it better than the tomato wrap? Because the tomato wrap oh. surprised me too. I'll be honest, I think it does, because the onion and the beef <laughs> flavor. For wanting to try to go a little light carb, as that oh is my, my goal, God. this is a good way to do a burger. I'm gonna do this on Smash Burger night. When Brett, I am stunned. I am, I am crazily stunned. How about some uh, mushrooms on that? I, I can't, I, like, I just wanna have more of it. Cannon's over here, he's gonna try it, but it is so hot. So it, yeah, cool the down. onions are holding that heat for sure. My goodness gracious. This is, you have to try this one. I'm stunned. <clears throat> the Flying Dutchman. Stunned. Jaden and Maddie, shout out to you all. Thank you for, for suggesting this. And to my students at my high school who also said y'all got to do the front Flying Dutchman this weekend. Thank you also, because we did it and it was every, it was worth every single yep. bit of everything that everybody recommended. Does yep. that make sense? What, dude, 100%. Every, 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 and okay. thank you, by the way, for sticking around and watching this. A couple of chumps here <laughs> yeah. just making some food. If you did stick around this long, you know we appreciate it, and we would like for you to add in your comment, onion buns are fun. <laughs> Just, just to let just you know, sometimes they come off the top of our head. Sometimes we stand here for about two or three minutes <laughs> trying to think of something funny. We came up with some horrible ones. It's, we sure did. That was the best of them. So you know what? These are these are the these jokes, are the comments, people. These are the, these are the things. These, these are, are the, the words. <laughs> these are these are how we do things around here. If you did enjoy this though, make sure and give the video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It is one way in which you can support us. What we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks: the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook or Smash. Smashed. Both are available on Amazon. <laughs> they or up for that. <laughs> Books are sold. He tries to match the same, and I just I got to match. Match. Man, I love that we get to come and do this. This was I, I'm I'm so pleased. I'm, I'm tickled. Stop pink. talking so we can get to the end. No, so that's a cool more. <laughs> aside, aside from knocking out bangers like the Flying Dutchman, aka the In and Out <laughs> Onion Wrap Burger, Copycat, Copycat. What else are we doing on this? Why are we just doing this? <laughs> Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.